What's up guys and welcome back to Wall Street Millennial. In this video, we're going to analyze some of the craziest trades on the Wall Street Bets forum so you can learn from other traders' experiences. If you like these videos, don't forget to smash the like and subscribe buttons. Also, if you have any crazy trades to share, leave them in the comments section below. With that being said, let's get into the video. First up, we have user 5k to 500k who lost a staggering 97% or more than $9,000 over the last 3 months. He played the risky investment strategy of buying weekly options, which ultimately led to his downfall. He bought far out of the money calls on Kodak, hoping the share price would reach $60. If you're unfamiliar with the Kodak story, Kodak shares skyrocketed after the US government gave him the contract to manufacture generic drug ingredients. But it quickly reversed these gains when an insider trading investigation into Kodak executives put the deal into question. While Kodak's stock has risen somewhat in the subsequent months, it never came close to user 5k to 500k's $60 strike price. After losing money on Kodak, he switched his strategy to playing weekly SPY options. He made some initial tendies buying calls when the SPY was at 323 and selling at a profit when it reached 330. Unfortunately, at this point, he did not take profits and unsuccessful SPY YOLOs took his account down 97% to just 249. User 5k 500k thought he could make a living by trading weeklies and quit his job to trade on Robinhood full time. Now that he has lost almost everything, he has no choice but to get back in the wage cage. We wish you luck on your job hunt. Next up, we have user Dua20 who made an epic 320% or $112,000 gain in the past week alone. He made these gains by buying calls on two of the hottest Wall Street Bets stocks, Tesla and Palantir. Tesla stock has skyrocketed this past week as index fund managers have been forced to buy Tesla stock after its recent inclusion into the S&P 500 index. Tesla's market cap has recently surpassed $500 billion, which has turned Elon Musk into the world's second richest man. He now has a net worth of $126 billion, surpassing Microsoft founder Bill Gates. Dua bought calls on Tesla, which multiplied the move in Tesla stocks many times. He also bought calls on Palantir. Palantir's stock has been on a straight line up after its IPO just a couple months ago. Palantir is a data mining company whose software is used in a wide variety of applications. The CIA, for example, uses Palantir software to track terrorists, while industrial giants like Airbus use it to manage their supply chains. Duo20's experience shows how profitable it can sometimes be to hop on the bandwagon early on by buying the latest Wall Street Bets meme stocks. Next up, we have the user Chunky Bacon, who posted a screen recording of his Robinhood account tanking 84%, or more than $5,000 over the past three months. He bought calls on UVIXI, the ProShares Ultra VIX Short Term Futures ETF. The VIX is an index that tracks the market's expectations of volatility and is often referred to as Wall Street's fear gauge as it tends to increase whenever the market tanks. For example, during catastrophic economic and political events like the global financial crisis and the Greek debt crisis, the VIX skyrocketed as investors thought the market could go significantly lower. The UVIXI tracks the price movement of the VIX but amplifies its moves by using futures contracts. Buying options on the VIX ETF is especially risky because it is basically laying three derivatives on top of each other. During the peak of the pandemic in March, it skyrocketed up more than 800%, but quickly started to decline as the Fed and other central banks started printing trillions of dollars. This gave markets confidence and the S&P mounted an epic comeback rally. This pushed the VIX lower and caused Chunky Bacon's VIX calls to expire worthless. This ultimately led to his 84% loss. Alright guys, that wraps it up for this video. As always, we thank you for your support. Wall Street Millennial, signing out.